Hey guys, and uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you replay from Tony Stark Industries and he's driving a uh, tier 8 premium light tank, the German uh, Bulldog. This is the first, uh, first tier 8 premium tank that Wargaming introduced and uh, sadly you can only buy it with money. You cannot buy it in game with gold but uh, Wargaming stopped long time ago giving uh, uh, they stopped long time ago putting tank in a premium, I mean in-game shop. So that's that's why most likely they are not going to introduce any tanks uh, in in-game shop. They are only going to give premium tanks, uh, which you can buy on their website using the money from real life. And yeah, this this bulldog I think the reload time is 5.3 seconds or something like that it also depends what are you using on it but uh, this is uh, this is the map I forgot what it's called yeah Siegfried, Siegfried line and uh, this map is okay for scouts kind of because uh, you can't really play for the city a lot I mean this is a good matchmaker it's only 3 tier 9s no RT rest tier 8s but still he can't play over aggressive in the city and uh, there is no like he could go to the field but uh, there is no point of point in going there because he would be alone and uh, that's why he decided to do some sniping in the start he loaded a chip for the spitz but uh, he wants he bounced him once so far and uh, yeah i guess now he's going to move uh, to the field finish that guy off, he's, well if he pens with HE, that guy is one shot, if not, then he needs one more shot. Uh, the Bulldog is also there, and let's see if he can pen the guy, yeah he penned him. So, the Bulldog is uh, full HP, and uh, it's a tier 7 uh, Bulldog. Yeah, he's hiding behind behind the bunker, but still he might be able to do some shots here. Yeah, uh, that was HG shell. Yeah, that's why that's why it didn't go through. It only did 100 damage, and the second one banned and did 303. Okay, that is nice. And he is left on one shot, but I don't think that guy is going to pick again. And they're kind of losing the city because uh, yeah, the enemy in the city was playing pretty aggressive. That's why they were they were really losing the city, and uh, I guess uh, Tony Stark Industries he needs to move. He needs to move really fast because uh, what he needs to do is kill this guy and then try to go under there, this under this ridge, this uh, hill, and uh, then he can try to help the team by shooting flanks of CDC Tiger 2 RHM, something like that. But he really needs to start moving now. Uh, so far like he had targets, so when you have targets uh, there is no really need to move closer. If you have something to shoot and you know you can shoot that, then you can just stay from the distance, save distance and make shots. For example now, he didn't have any more shots on the SU so he's moving closer, he's uh, looking for like uh, approach on the, on the SU and uh, he finished him now, now the Tiger too. And yeah, this guy is also going he's going way on the open yeah. that guy is going uh, YOLO for the T-34-100 also this Jack Panther too so those two guys are easy targets they are on the open he can't get spotted there is no way he will get spotted because he's like 460 meters away and that tiger is just sitting on the open so that's that's just a free damage there is no need to move closer as uh, as long as you have like good shots on the targets like he had there is no need like no need at all to move closer as long as you are making damage yeah uh, and Tiger is left like on maybe two shots okay if he can do one more high roll like this then the Tiger is going to die but he missed and uh, yeah this tank is accurate but that's that's like 500 meters and it was uh, not really clear shot the Jack Panther 2 on the other on the, on the other hand is clear shot he did low roll and okay the prototype finished that guy uh, tiger 2 is yeah now now he can move in like 
every single tank in the game was spotted every single tank in the game is in the city and on that part of the map so nobody is left alive here on the field uh, and the, that's why there is no need to stay here anymore uh, the prototype was on K3 that guy is kind of being useless if that prototype was maybe somewhere here like there he would be able to shoot these guys but from here like no no way uh, somehow he did hit the tiger here that was like really okay one more time that's nice uh, and uh, they can still maybe win this game because they were losing like the enemy had two tier nines alive and in uh, two tier nines four tier eights and in his team three tier eights and one tier seven so maybe they can still win uh, it's good that he's almost full HP E75 uh, and somebody spotted him I don't really think that it was the E75 I think the CDC spotted him he did a critical shot I think no or but yeah he bounced the E75 and uh, yeah it's kind of it's kind of hard game uh, 4.4k damage so far uh, like uh, CDC is here and looks like the CDC is AFK he is loading HE he only have one HE left and now he's going to shoot him with uh, AP uh, 4 AP shots left and that was yeah that was a hit and uh, I don't think I like, I don't know if the CDC is AFK or is he just being uh, a bot. But uh, yeah, that, that was a free damage. Uh, but anyways, I think he would be able to outplay the CDC anyways, because the reload time of the Bulldog is way faster than the CDC. And now the E75. He only had heat left and uh, he missed the first shot. That is the reason he's going to lose this fight most... Yeah, he's going to lose this. Uh, he didn't take enough time to aim the first shot and the second shot and that's why the other gem is going to kill him now. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate and uh, if he only took his time, like when the E75 was coming at him, he had the perfect shot on lower plate. He tried to snapshot it, he didn't tame enough. And uh, if you yeah, like D75 5 was one shot. If you just kill D75, focus on RHM, just circle around the RHM, something like that, he would be able to kill the RHM most probably. And that's. Uh, yeah, you know, also the second shot he also missed on the D75. I think the third one also. But still, he did 6k damage. He had that blind shot on the CDC. So that's about 6k damage and 5 kills. The prototype is still alive and he's still there on on uh, K3. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a lost game. There's no way the prototype can kill the tiger. That's why I'm going to fast forward this a bit. Uh, there's no way he can kill the tiger E75 and RHM. He's way in the open. This prototype is not in the cover. He's just sitting on the open like a duck and the enemy is going to kill him pretty fast but anyways uh, you could see in this replay that Bulldog is really nice tank I don't have it because I don't want to give money to Wargaming and every tank I'm buying uh, premium tank I buy the tank from the from the premium shop from in-game premium shop and uh, also premium days I buy using gold that I get from the clan wars or, or from the Wargaming tournaments or from the ESL I'm not wasting money on this game and uh, yeah that, that's about all for this replay guys thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you in the next video